to some bad habits that I've been trying to avoid, but it happens. Yesterday I fell into a bad habit that I've been trying to avoid for like the longest time. And usually I'm pretty good at avoiding it, but as of recently, I've just been feeling really sluggish, partly because I do not go to sleep at a decent time anymore. And I hate the fact that I'm so easily affected by the weather. Yesterday I got up, went straight to work, didn't do anything, didn't do, skin, didn't do my skincare, didn't work out, didn't make breakfast. I literally got up and went straight to work because I was feeling a little guilty that I didn't do any kind of studying for my midterm on Wednesday um, on the previous two days. So that's just what I do whenever I feel guilty, kind of like a punishment, I guess. But today I made, but today, but today I got up, what am I saying? But today I woke up, I think I woke up around like eight o'clock. Yeah, I woke up around eight. I went straight to the gym, came back, showered, cleaned, did my skincare, ate breakfast, even got ready, filmed a TikTok, and um, now I'm ready to get started with my work. And I don't feel rushed. I feel like I'm ready to go. I feel like I'm like motivated and like ready to really like, knock it out. There's five lectures that I need to study for this midterm. And I had a study schedule in mind, but I never wrote it down. Like I didn't put it in my to-do list. Let's just say I was supposed to start days ago and I'm only starting, I'm only like really starting today. Today will be like the first real day that I put in like real effort to studying. But it's okay, we're gonna get it done. so cool they're like little um it's kind of like hello fresh kind of it's like little meals in the bag it literally comes with everything you need there's the pasta i think that's the lettuce there's the meat for the fettuccine alfredo i've never had this one before it's an earl gray with lavender and bergamot and it has a lot of caffeine more caffeine than this one. Let's try it. A1 seasoning. that I'm sweating right now there is literally sweat dripping down my back and I'm melting look at my last stop shop right Have I ever mentioned that I'm obsessed with these rice cakes? I literally just put whatever on top. <laughs> if you can hear the little kids outside my window screaming, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> They're having a good time. As for me, on the other hand, I will 
be getting back to work. I do have an assignment that I need to finish. Usually when I go outside and get a little bit of fresh air, I come back in and I'm like super motivated to like get back to work. It's six o'clock and I think I'm gonna do a little bit more work until around eight. Like eight is like cut off, like I'm, that's it. But I think that I'm gonna go back to my old study strategy and use my whiteboard. I have this massive one in my living room that I used to use like last year all the time and I stopped using it but I think that I'm going to get back to that and use a combination of all my different study strategies together and then just call it a night but I really hope that you guys enjoyed the little grocery like grocery shop with me part that I did I kind of wanted to try something new so let me know in the comment section down below if you liked it for my study sessions I like to have a drink with me so we're gonna try this out sweet I don't know oh I don't know hold on that's probably too much okay so I added a little bit of this vanilla almond milk from Target So I had to make another one of these drinks. The drink itself is very, very sweet. So I had to do like half of the drink, half water and then milk and then a little bit of creamer. And you can taste the lavender in it. It tastes almost like the Trader Joe's lavender almond milk. It's actually really, really good. So I finished the lecture that I wanted to complete for today and that makes three lectures of the five that I need to study for this midterm but that's all my mind can withstand. So I just need to finish this assignment that's due tonight and that'll be it for the day. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> so let's get to work. I got on the phone with my dad and it's 10 o'clock. Just like that, it's 10 o'clock. I haven't even made dinner yet, but it's okay. I'm gonna make something really small, maybe some um, shrimp with some asparagus. I just bought some asparagus as you guys saw in my little grocery shop with me part of this video. Um, but I just feel so good about today. I feel like I, I did a good job at finding a balance this weekend. Although yesterday I fell into a bad habit that I've been trying to avoid, I feel like cumulatively I did a good job at finding balance. Today I studied, I went grocery shopping, I cleaned, I worked out, I did my skincare. And yesterday was more like a rest day because I wasn't really feeling motivated. And that's okay. Sometimes you're not gonna feel motivated. Sometimes you are going to feel sluggish. And it's not even just laziness. Sometimes it's really just tiredness. And as long as you find a, like a point where you're like, okay, I'm done being tired. I'm done taking a break. I'm done you know, lying around, I'm ready to like get up and start moving and start doing something. That's all that matters. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite part was. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching all the way through. I really, really do appreciate it. It really does help. And don't forget to comment down below, hashtag made it. Also next time guys, stay hydrated, stay motivated and mind your business. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.